<laughs> this is what Scotty's wearing. It's Frank and Oak cuts tea. Classic Levi's with the coffee stain from our first time. Oh, oh yeah, you haven't had a chance to wash them. And, um, poor sucks. guy, poor guy. <laughs> if you're here for women's fashion, this might be more up your street. But if you're shopping for a boyfriend, then Frank and Oak, a great spot to go. However, this whole outfit is another Holland Cooper one. I've got the velvet pants on as well as this top. This houndstooth top has been a star. I am so obsessed with it. But the newest addition is this cropped blazer. The last part of my order finally came in and we were able to pick it up. So um, that was wonderful. This is the outfit of the day with my little Chloe Tess. I am also, thank goodness, wearing my white Reebok, which will be perfectly matching the hound's, the hound's tooth, the hound's tooth. Um, not wearing my black boots today because all in Paris. I only exclusively wore heeled boots, which was an absolute fatal error. Um, so I'm excited to actually be wearing something comfortable. Scotty and I are heading to a museum and we have so many plans today, as I mentioned earlier. So we are off like a herd of turtles. just saw this really cool sign that the wildlife photographer of the year has an exhibit going on right now. Now coming to museums here in the UK, what is so amazing is there are so many exhibits that are free to patrons and visitors and then of course there are exhibits that you pay for as well. So we're just gonna dander around I think the free exhibits unless something is like, oh, we've got to see that. something maybe they're studying in school we saw a lot of kids even with little worksheets but for us I think we're also interested in just seeing some history here in the UK so we've been um, recommended as well as done some research to go to the V&A Victoria and Albert Museum which conveniently is right around the corner so not a problem excited to look at this one and a good friend of mine Alexa who used to live in the UK says this one is her favorite so it's promising some good things lunch at this place called Honest Burger and then we took the tube back into Piccadilly Circus. We're gonna go to Fortnum and Mason and pick up some gifts for our family and friends back home and we went to Noxie which is a little tiny hole-in-the-wall cafe. It is so cute and just chic inside there and that was in the Burlington Arcade. And this evidently is Burlington House. Well I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe I love all of these baubles. I wish we could take them home. But alas, they would break. 
and Christmas has officially arrived. There are so, so many decorations. It's beautiful. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. This is my kind of advent calendar. Look at all those trees. Oh. We were very successful inside of Fortnum and Mason. We ended up getting a couple of tea towels as well as tea and like some chocolates for Cal and Rebecca for looking after Rosie at home. Now we are going to head to Liberty. And if you did watch London part one, We've already been inside Liberty, but I feel like we've learned even more about it. We are gonna fact check this for you. So on the screen, if I'm completely wrong, I will write, Amanda, you're wrong, and the real information. But the outside of, or like the wood beams inside of Liberty are from old ships, which is so, so cool. And we learned inside of Fortnum Mason that it's been there since 1770 something. <laughs> which is amazing. The fact that that shop has been there technically older than our country the country of Canada. <laughs> it is absolutely insane. So time for some more Christmas shopping, go into the market once more because we know exactly what we're in for this time and we'll have our eyes peeled for something special. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on Without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Popping in here with a quick VO. Oh my goodness gracious. My heart grew three sizes that day inside of Liberty. It was so stunning. If you are in London around Christmas, please, please, please do me a favor and don't miss out stopping at Liberty for their Christmas shop. There was so much going on, so many ornaments, and we ended up purchasing an ornament to bring home. It was a tiny little post pole, and I'll show it to you in a future video. Let's go to dinner. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this restaurant. It's a contemporary bakery and restaurant. It's called Jolene, and this is one you do not wanna miss. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it later in the video, but you'll be able to tell that it's got a vibe, it's got a feel, it just feels like a sexy date night out or even going out with friends and having a really good deep conversation and it's shareable plates, which just continues to kind of create that vibe at your table. And I will note, Monty came with us once again. Howard and Bertrand are Scotty's uncles if you're popping into these vlogs for the first time and they used to live in Primrose Hill so they decided to show us it at night and it was absolutely stunning. wonderful morning. We are just walking down um, the street where Scotty's uncles live. We have just gone to Gail's and I have to tell you about dinner last night, but I might do that inside. It might be a little easier, but we are blessed with another stunning, stunning, stunning day. I don't know how we did it. Only one day, really, that we were walking around London was raining and that was yesterday and we got done so much Christmas shopping and everything, but I don't think I had too much of a chance to show you. Um, maybe when I get home we can do a little debrief on everything that we purchase here in the UK But for now, we're going to time. enjoy our gales And then I need to tell you all about dinner last night because I know you saw the b-roll, but it was so incredible And before I forget, Scotty and I are going to do something very cool Like something that came up very last minute And if you like my content or any creators from the UK I think you might even recognize someone um, who we're going to meet today Okay, 
Okay, so this is what I am wearing today. This is a jumper from Holland Cooper. The same kind of bottoms that I've been continuously wearing again and again, just because they're so comfortable and they go with everything. It's quite chilly today too. Edge of Ember earrings, which I will 100% link down below as well as the necklace it's part of the Gaia collection that Victoria collaborated with them on and I think I'm gonna wear my pink jacket as well speaking of it being chilly on the street if you can hear a bunch of noise <laughs> there's quite a bit of construction going on but um, yes dinner last night was incredible it was basically it was from this place it was called Jolene and it was so many shareable plates and the cocktails were amazing I also had this cocktail that was kind of to the likeness of an Aperol spritz but it was a little bit more citrusy and down the street I believe there is a little I don't know if you would call it a brewery but somewhere where they make different Aperols and cocktail mixtures, but it was from this brand called Bellwether and it was so amazing. I think I have a video of that. Today, Scotty and I are heading out. We were going to go to the Tate Gallery, which we've heard is an amazing vantage point of the city. It's 40 minutes away. And this afternoon, we are actually going to an Aromatherapy Therapy Associates um, event where Josie is going to be at. So uh, we're gonna be making festive wreaths with her and that's from 1.30 to 3. It is currently 10.30, so we've gotta get going. I think we might hang out Piccad in Piccadilly Circus and pick up a couple of things. Um, but besides that, we are just gonna be enjoying all of this beautiful sunshine. And um, our last day, you're, you're a little shadow in the window, but <laughs> we can see your tear. So let's get going, enjoy our last full day here in London and go to our very first event. We are now at about, we just walked by the Seven Dials. We're picking up a couple of things for Wendy, Scotty's mom. But this is definitely an area that you need to come if you are exploring London. Again, it's called Seven Dials. And there are so many cute little courtyards. Specifically, I guess, there was the Seven Dials courtyard. Um, and behind there, you'll find shops like Neil's Yard and all of these different things. So behind me, you'll also see Maybe not, but there's a little monument in the middle and the seven dials are seven streets coming off of that center monument. Go, here you go, Wendy. Here we go to get your things. Scotty's dreams right now because we are in a four level bookshop <laughs> and he's very excited. <laughs> I am so thrilled that I filmed so many bits at this event because if you are someone who loves a little wholesome event, this is for you. So this is part of their winter yeah. well-being collection and they're actually they have it on over there and we're gonna actually put it in the wreath on the boat. Yeah. 
If you wanna, do you want me to do it for you? Oh, I would love to do it. Do you like a few drops on a pine cone? Usually, like the center stairs. Better on a pine cone, or just like a couple of drops? Okay. I like how you've done it in clusters. I quite like that. Perfect. 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 Perfect.
doctors to writers you'll find here from Sigmund Freud to Julie Andrews who have had homes in this area so just grabbed a quick coffee and we are walking around and it is a quintessential London kind of day with um, the leaves scattered on the ground and it's very rainy so I think this is also a perfect send-off to the one that we had last night. That's my dream door, actually. Oh, and their garage doors are even the same color. walking down this main drag here and Howard and Bertrand went into the uh, market there because I guess only on Saturdays they have this pop-up where they bring French cheeses. in so they want to get some for just to have in the kitchen but up and down the main drag here you can tell there are so many shops and even galleries and they're all quite premium to upscale which speaks to the neighborhood for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. This European adventure has been one I've been looking forward to for a very long time. And I can honestly say, I think I belong in the UK. My heart has been there for so long and this trip just confirmed that I love absolutely everything about the UK and London and the areas surrounding it. And I know that on my next trip, we're definitely gonna make it out to the Cotswolds. And if we get a chance to go to Paris again, I would love to go to some of the surrounding areas there as well. But we'll have to save that for the next one. So now in Hampstead, we're in the heat, the forest. So we'll turn right.